In this paper, we uh, give details of the experiment which involves the interaction of light and fast moving matter, specifically um, reflection of, of a spinning disk. Um, this paper has been uh, submitted to a few forums um, uh, and it was completed in January of 2021. So let's get into the setup. Uh, it starts with a laser diode laser like this so commercially available uh, it's modified to control the uh, the current and it can uh, rotate about this pivot over here so this uh, laser beam is then incident on a disc platter like this uh, hard disk over here so this is a dual platter hard disk so essentially we incident the light uh, in the gap uh, at an angle so that it reflects several times and comes out from the other direction now this hard disk uh, is again controlled by a pwm controller for the speed uh, as well as the direction of rotation now we consider two cases uh, the case where the disk is spinning in the direction of the incident light uh, that's the like case and then the, uh, the case where the disk is spinning opposite to the direction of the incident light which let's call as unlike case outcome outcome uh, laser beam is then uh, sent to a diffraction grating so we can easily construct one using a compact disk uh, like this one and it's cast on a screen so for diffraction grating all we see is a spot on the screen um, that image is captured using a camera uh, and the camera is uh, not stationary, but it's rotatable around the axis of the lens. Let me show that to you. So, uh, as you can see, um, I don't have a camera in here, but um, um, as you can see, it is made to uh, be tiltable around the axis of the, the camera lens. So with that setup, uh, let's move towards the actual uh, data captured in the results so all of the details around the different uh, sets of data captured is given in this paper um, so we, we capture uh, hundreds of images in, in every position uh, both like direction and unlike direction um, and uh, let's get into the results uh, before we get into the results a quick background uh, around um, diffraction grating as you may know um, in the case of uh, refraction um, the lower wavelengths are bent away from the incident uh, beam whereas in the case of diffraction grating the uh, lower wavelengths are closer to the incident path uh, so in the diffraction grating you may have a zeroth order here uh, which is like essentially a pass through and then you have a first order spot here second order spot here and so on and then there's a mirror image on the other side another quick background with respect to diffraction grating is the point where the image spots are formed is essentially um, the point where the different sources uh, of waves actually uh, interfere constructively and all the other spots it, um, of the uh, phases will cancel out So the results are built around comparing the extreme scenarios where the direction is along the, sp along the spinning disk and then the other case where the direction of uh, incident is opposite to the spinning disk and we compare and contrast those two images uh, not, not just in a two dimension but also a spatial uh, profile of luminous intensity. Now what we see in this is uh, uh, interesting observation in the case where the disk is rotating opposite to incidence of the light uh, which is the creation of additional bump in the luminous intensity towards the zeroth order or basically towards the uh, direction of uh, the incident light itself so this could mean two things um, coming back to the theory um, that the what we observe is that there's a small bump towards the lower wavelength so this could one mean that uh, a 
a small fraction of uh, rays actually experienced a wavelength reduction and that's why we see a bump or it could also mean uh, another thing which is a um, small fraction of the waves which were originally uh, interfering destructively are now pulled in right there's a phase shift uh, leading to a constructive uh, interference at a new spot so these are the two observations from the experiment um, uh, in this paper I have given all the other uh, measurements involved um, and a bit of theory on uh, why we cannot explain the observation using any of the known theories uh, that is detailed here um, and then there are a bunch of reference including uh, the data around this own paper uh, which is available in uh, the Center for Open Science um, so if you'd like to repeat this experiment or leave me a note uh, drop a comment or uh, drop me a note on my email ID uh, available in this paper